Hello, I'm Nizalea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I'll be showing you how I've created that Christmas intro slash promo video that you just saw. I was actually planning on doing just two videos on this matter, being the Christmas tree and also how I've done the text transitions in particular, but some people are still wondering how I've done the complete project, so that's why I will be doing this video. I'll be taking you over the complete template because doing a tutorial will just take too long to actually recreate it. I've took some time to actually make it. So what I will be doing is going in After Effects, open up that project and take you through each step that I took to actually make it, but not remake it from scratch. So that's what we're going to do right now. Let's open up After Effects and see how I've created that project. All right, so here we are in Adobe After Effects and I will be taking you through how I've created that entire project and take you through the process of how I've done it. If you don't wish to follow this tutorial or you want to support the channel, you can always buy the project file with the link in the description where you just have to change the text to whatever you want and then you will have the results immediately. For those that do want to know how I've created uh, with no further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that I did is created a new solid layer where I applied a gradient ramp with the two cores right here. So I could actually just make a fill background object then I added a camera to my scene which I parented to a null which I made a 3D layer so I could just move my camera in Z space so you can see right here if I press U on the keyboard the position for the Z of the null is uh, animated so it's just the camera moving in well zooming into my footage so right here it's at zero and at the end it's around 6000 so um, yeah it's moving in um, then I added a particular text uh, which you can, uh, well it's actually exactly the same as the previous tutorial on this matter on how to get text to uh, fade off using particular. And as you can see right here if I press E on the keyboard I have this animated so right here uh, you can see that it's fading in so it's just fading in with some blur that I added. And then we have the text and after a while the text fades out uh, using that trap code particular plugin just like so. I will actually make cards pop up on this video so you can go back to that tutorial if you don't know how to do that but it's rather simple. If I'm going to close down my particular um, that's all I have right here. Then I have my text layer here which I made 3D, uh, 3D because it's actually emitting from this title layer so the particular is emitting from there uh, using a layer emission and the appear is actually a um, solid layer here that is uh, just well actually I didn't do a just a regular fading what I did is I used fractal noise I also have a tutorial on that and that's actually the tutorial for Game of Thrones I will also make a pop-up for that tutorial um, but here is actually going from black to white using some uh, fractal noise and that's it and that's actually used to make the text appear so right here it's uh, appearing but not well consistently so uh, it's actually looking at that layer to just show uh, show this layer so that's that uh, the light has been added because of the 3d uh, layer emission here so that's automatically and then I just duplicated everything so once I had my complete setup uh, as you can see right here which uh, what I did I animate I did my particles per second you can see um, quite a, a big amount here um, then I've done the velocity animation all just like in the tutorial uh, so once I set up this whole system for one of the text I just duplicated um, these layers here so all four of these I just duplicate them over and over again until I had some uh, text right here so if I I'm going to in solo this here of course the appear layer shouldn't be visible this is just as a reference so I'm going to close these down again and right here we have the text coming up front because it's a 3D layer and the camera is zooming through them so we have this text goes away and we have this again right here I the appear is not uh, disabled here so it's zooming in here and if you want to see what I did to the title itself if I go in here in one of the titles you can see that um, I have another composition with my actual text so right here is the actual text with a gradient ram doesn't really matter because um, I didn't really use it so if I delete that uh, if we go back to that title uh, well we can see that I'm using an image 
as an alpha on this uh, well on this text so it's actually using a texture and here I can change to full resolution it's just like a gold texture um, I just wanted to give it some more structure if I toggle the switches you can see that I'm using um, the text composition here as a uh, layer mask for uh, for the texture on my other text so yeah um, if I just and solo this uh, well if I only solo the gold texture you can see that I'm just using a track matte alpha of my text layer right here and just added some curves to um, well give it a uh, little bit more well a warmer color here so that's all I've done for the text and I just made a bunch of compositions uh, to actually make that text there then what I've also done is use that 3d tree that we created in particular also with a tutorial um, I just rendered it out or you can just use that composition doesn't matter but right here you can see if I jump into that composition I just have a tree that um, is yeah building itself up you can actually buy the project file well yeah you can get it for free on our website uh, just download it and the freebies and then you will have the preset well this project file for this tree and you can render it out for example and go back to that main comp and just add it to the composition make it a 3d layer and what I've done is just I spaced them out over well in 3d space um, as you can see right here if I load this up you can see that I just moved them in Z space um, a little bit and I rescale them, offset them a little bit so you can see uh, they're not starting at the same time. Just They're just building up so uh, I just animated, well I just uh, moved the position that's all I've done for these trees. Uh, then I had the Particle, uh, particular snow, <laughs> particular snow, um, which I just created some snow flying towards the camera. I also have a tutorial on how to create snow in After Effects, so you can follow that as well. But in the Air tab, you can see that I'm using a wind negative value in Z, so it's actually flying towards the camera. And I also added some motion blur here, so motion blur is on with a higher shutter angle, uh, so you would see some motion blur in these particles, because if I wouldn't do that, we would just see uh, simple yeah, particles, which I didn't want to. So I wanted to give it the idea of speed. And of course, I also used a little bit of uh, turbulence um, movement, well, and yeah, right here in the physics, uh, turbulence displays, where is it? Uh, effect position and that's also affected a little bit so I have a tutorial on that so definitely check that one out if you don't know how um, one thing that I did overlook here I also added a CC uh, light sweep to my text which is animating from left to right you can see it right here and uh, that's just being well animating the wrong value here um, and also on the wrong text but if I go right over here to this title and I would animate that. Um, also added some glows and stuff like that. But if I would go here to the CC light sweep, you can see that it's just the animation of like a light sweep. Yeah, you know what it is uh, right here. So um, that's nothing, nothing uh, too big here. So we have our uh, snow right here. Then I also created a floor. How I've done that is just emit from a box, lowered all my uh, velocity, well, all my yeah velocity attributes to zero, so we don't have any animation. And I just move them um, down here in the Y position. And you can see we created a floor. If I solo this, uh, we are we just have a floor that is standing still. And of course, the, these are emitting and well um, dying after a little while and I made him fade out like this uh, jittery kind of thing and that makes him flicker when they disappear so if I solo this and if I preview this you can see that they're flickering a little bit and that gives that nice Christmas feel I think um, also I did a little bit of movement in the uh, effect position for turbulence fields um, but yeah, just because of the camera that is moving towards, uh, well, uh, moving moving in and zooming in here, um, we get this nice kind of floor. Then we have the floor smoke here, so I added a little bit of smoke. What I've done here is just uh, used a particle type cloudlet, and I used a, a bigger size with uh, some feather. And also just lower the opacity to one and just use a opacity random and that makes these clouds this kind of mist um, on the on the floor which is uh, pretty cool I think I also added an adjustment layer where I applied camera lens blur 
and that just adds some depth of field as you can see in the front here and that's because I used a mask here so you can see this is the mask and I subtracted this mask uh, from the adjustment layer so it would only affect the bottom and top part of my video and that gives it a nice depth of field effect. Um, then I applied a simple grade, so some curves uh, to add some more contrast, make the reds pop a little bit more, added a tint so to lower my saturation a little bit, and just added an overall, uh, overall glow right here um, to yeah, just make it glow a little bit. Then I created a vignette right here, you can see it, uh, just uh, darkening the edges a little bit. I use some film burns, which you can also buy on our website, um, or get the free light leak pack. Uh, these are my light leak, uh, like leaks that I use to actually just uh, give some vibrant life to my scene, so it has some movement in uh, color, and yeah, you know, it's uh, just pretty cool, right? Um, and that's actually it. So these are of course the lights of the duplicated. Um, yeah, uh, particulars that are emitting from my text. So that's um, all based on the other tutorial. And that's basically it. And that built me the entire project right here where I'm flying in with my camera moving and the text would appear using the fractal noise and then disappearing using trap code particular. Uh, so yeah, that's it actually. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, uh, let me know what you think of this new kind of style for bigger project because I'm not always uh, able to create a complete tutorial for things that I spend hours on because the tutorial will just um, be like 10 hours long. Uh, so if you like this kind of overview of projects, I might do that in the future for other projects that I'm doing. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments below. Also like the video if you liked it and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.